<clears throat> okay, we are live. We'll see who joins us in. <laughs> What's going on? All right, we've got one, we've got two. Is that? <laughs> we still have three minutes till our start time, um, and we'll probably give just a few extra minutes to let people kind of make their way in. Uh, but hi, guys. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Ah, a heart. That's cute. <laughs> <clears throat> Just hanging out with Cam. This is Cam. There she is. <laughs> we may use her as a dumbbell. Amazing. There's nine or eight of you in here. I wish I could see who's in here. Hello, whoever's here. Um, so as we're just kind of waiting for people to come in, again, we have like two minutes till we officially start, and then even after that, we're going to give just um, about five minutes to let people kind of make their way in after they finish their coffee. Um, as I said, you don't need any equipment today. Um, if you do want to get a little bit of weight or try to do something with what you have, um, a backpack filled with books is a great tool to um, just make it nice and heavy and um, we're going to use it for squats later. Um, so books, cans of soup, um, four pound dogs are a great addition to put into the bag. Um, anything to make the backpack nice and heavy, um, heavier than normal. Um, but you don't need it. You can do it without the backpack, without the books. So don't stress if you don't have a bunch of big heavy books. Um, also for the yoga portion, if you don't have any yoga blocks accessible, um, I saw a great idea of using a paper towel as a block for some stabilization work. Um, so paper towels or toilet paper rolls uh, would be a great option as an alternative yoga block. Or you can even just use, if you have a nice thick book, um, that can help you out as well. Just trying to get creative today. Again, you don't need anything, um, but if you have any of those things lying around, you can uh, use the next few minutes to grab those things. Uh, to get ready. Um, this is so exciting. I'm so excited to connect with all of you in this fun way. Um, but again, make sure you have water nearby. Um, a yoga mat is ideal. And that's really all the space you need. So if you are working with a smaller space, you only got between your couch and your TV, throw that yoga mat in there. You'll be totally fine with that much space. Um, we will get some movement in and a little bit of sweat, hopefully um regardless of where you're at so just make sure you have enough space for your yoga mat and you should be good to go all right it is 10 a.m we are again going to give just a few more minutes to let people kind of roll in figure out this whole facebook live thing um, and then we'll get into it so if you're just joining us i was just kind of going over a few things you may need not required so um, if you don't have any of these things don't stress you can do it without um, but a book bag a backpack or any sort of bag, a duffel bag is great, even a tote bag, as long as you can either hold it up front like so or put it on your back, um, anything will work. And again, just throw a bunch of books in there, your favorite books, <laughs> of course. And for the theater nerds, we've got complete works of Shakespeare as well. Just the heaviest books you can find. Um, another additional tool you may use, paper towel roll as a yoga block, or again, do without, or just a nice big heavy book to give you a little bit of support. All right, guys, take the next few minutes to get ready to get what you need, and then we'll get into it. <clears throat> and just making sure everyone can hear me okay, everyone can see everything okay. Is anything weird going on? I think I can see the comments if you post them. We're all learning together here. Amazing, this is so much fun. <laughs> uh, but please let me know if you can't hear anything. Again, we're gonna get started in the next two minutes. Um, so just take these next two minutes to just get those last minute pieces of equipment, scavenge around your house to find heavy things to put in a bag, and then we'll go for it. <clears throat> 
So uh, what you can expect today, I'll kind of start off. If you don't know me, my name is Tara Gilfillan. I teach at Movement Baker. I am also the fitness director over there. Oh, it's all good. Thank you. Thank you for that, Hannah. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> yay, Krista. Okay, great. Feedback. I love it. Wonderful. Um, if at any point anything gets weird, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to check them and make sure nothing crazy goes on. Um, so I am the fitness director over at Movement Baker. I teach all over there, yoga, fitness. Um, today is going to be a hybrid of all those things because I found it's the best thing to do um, indoors with no equipment. Um, is just to kind of mix it up and move as much as we can. So we'll start off with a little bit of a power flow, a little faster than a normal yoga class. Please know that everything I say is a suggestion, not a requirement. Work at your own pace and follow your own breath. No matter what I'm doing up here, no matter what maybe someone six feet away from you is doing, um, just make sure you're staying connected to the pace of your breath through the yoga part. Um, we will get in a little five to six minute AMRAP um, of a few different movements, including those spots with the book bag, um, some fun crawly stuff because of course, why wouldn't we do that if it's my class? Um, and then we'll do a nice little core burnout to uh, make sure all the bits and pieces of you are worked and moving and ready to go and killing your Sunday. Here we go. Look at all you guys. Yes. <laughs> Holly and Jordan. Jordan, I miss you. Hello. Okay. Kisses, everybody. Let's get ready. It is time to start. <clears throat> okay, guys. So find your mat. Find a tabletop position. We're just going to take the next few moments to warm up here. Again, you can follow your own breath, but just take a few cat and cows, dropping the belly, opening the heart, taking a nice deep breath in. Then exhale, tuck your chin, pull your belly in, pressing the floor away from you, using your breath to help you figure out how to guide through the movements, inhaling heart up, exhaling to tuck it under and pull the belly in. You can continue to just inhale and exhale through this extension and flexion of our spines. Otherwise, add on any other movements. Um, you have the comfort of your own home, so you can really roll those shoulders out, move those hips, roll out the head and neck. Just breathing and moving is most important for now within that tabletop space. So shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. And again, just kind of check in with how things feel today. Maybe we're a little extra pent up inside, but just breathe and move work through the kinks. Take the next three rounds of breath just to figure it all out. Nice deep full rounds of breath. And then find your tabletop on that last exhale. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, crown of the head reaching forward. For this part, we'll start off warming up just reaching our right arm forward and our left leg back. I think I'm doing the opposite in the screen. Uh, as long as it's opposite arm, opposite leg, take a nice big inhale to lengthen through fingers and toes. Exhale, round your spine, pull your belly button in, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen through fingertips and toe tips. Exhale, elbow to knee, belly in. Inhale one more time. Exhale, activating the core with that exhale. Inhale for length. On your exhale, reach your right arm to the right and your left leg to the left. So a little hovering airplane here. Let that left foot land. Let the right hand land behind you. Inhale to sweep it up and open. A little supported side plank. Exhale to lower back down. Inhale for length. Exhale back to center. Inhale, exhale, find tabletop. We'll do the other side. Just checking in, make sure we're all good. Nice guys. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out in tabletop. And then we'll inhale to reach our left arm forward and our right leg back opposite side. Inhale to grow longer, belly active. Exhale, pull the belly in as you round the spine, elbow to knee. Inhale for length. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale for length. Exhale, elbow to knee, last time. Inhale for length, and I'll do this from the front this time. Exhale, left arm to the left, right leg to the right. Land the foot down, land the hand down. Inhale to sweep that opposite arm up and over. Exhale to bring it back down. Find that little airplane half tabletop. Back to center, inhale for length. Exhale, float it back down to tabletop. Nice job, guys. 
For this guy, for the next one, you can do what we just did, the quadruped on tabletop, or if you want to already spice things up, you can tuck your toes, lift your knees, hold here in this little beast shape, then you take bird dog on each side, just like we did in tabletop, except now you're hovering that knee up. So inhale, fingertips and toes, exhale, elbow to knee, inhale for length, exhale, elbow to knee, I know it burns, stay with it one more time, inhale, Exhale, elbow to knee, keep that stability. Inhale, exhale, float it back down to tabletop. Remember, everything's a suggestion. You can do what we just did, tabletop without the knees up. Otherwise, here we go, other side. Tuck the toes, lift the knees. Inhale, right leg, left arm. Find that stability with the core. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale for length. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more time. Fight against those wobbles. Inhale, exhale, float it back down. Wonderful job, guys. Just waking up our core a little bit. Uh, take three deep, full rounds of breath here. At any point today, you can take a child's pose. You don't need me to guide you here, but find child's pose. Take three deep rounds of breath if you need to, and then join us whenever you're ready. <clears throat> All right, wherever you're at, we're going to warm up with a little bit of a sun salutation. So find tabletop again. Tuck your toes under. Lift your knees. Take a deep, full breath in. Exhale, send your hips up and back as you lengthen your legs, finding downward facing dog. And maybe it's the first one of the day. Maybe you've been up for hours and you're already ready to go. But take about five deep, full breaths here. Pedal your feet out, deep, full breaths. Lengthening the back of the legs. Every inhale, you reach up through those sits bones. Every exhale, you reach down through your heels. Releasing low back, shaking out the head and neck. Five deep breaths here, guys, just to check in with how everything is feeling today. <clears throat> All right, we'll take it nice and slow through our first round of sun salutation. We're gonna add a little bit of spice to it though, don't worry. Find some stillness in your downward facing dog. Let's connect with our breath here. On your exhale, let all of the breath go. Take a nice deep, full belly breath in. And let it out, no one can hear you. <sighs> all right, inhale, lift your heels, and then slowly walk the feet towards the front of your mat to find a forward fold. Let go, again, shake out the head and neck. If you'd like to grab opposite elbows, sway side to side. Just spend a few moments here, releasing the lower back, allowing the crown of the head to get heavy, falling towards the bottom of the floor. Keeping the belly against the legs, knees slightly bent. A few deep breaths to let it all go. Then release the hands down. You can toe heel your feet together to touch. On your inhale, press into your fingertips your shins or your thighs to find a nice flat back, shoulder blades pulling towards each other down the back, using your hands to press the rib cage away from the hip bones. So this space right here, we're trying to encourage more space, more length, reaching the crown of the head forward. Inhale, exhale to fold even deeper. Inhale to bring it all the way up to standing. Exhale, just relax the shoulders and land here for a moment. Tuck your tailbone under, drive through your heels. On your inhale, biceps stay by your ears as you lift up through your heart, send your hips forward, squeeze your glutes, a slight back bend. Your exhale tells you when to dive right back down. <sighs> inhale for length, halfway, press into your mat, your shins, your thighs. Exhale to plant your hands, step back to find a plank. So hips in line with the shoulders, lifting up high under those toes. <clears throat> Here's the spice already. <laughs> um, for this part, again, it's optional. You can always drop your knees if you need to. If you do drop your knees, keep this line of the body. Don't let the tailbone pop up. Keep it nice and long with the core engaged. Otherwise, from here, as you lower down into your yogi push-up, I want you to think as if your core is pulling you up. So it's actually fighting gravity as you're lowering down. That'll help you keep that line of the body. Take it. I hope you were holding your plank this whole time. <laughs> Take a deep breath in. Exhale to lower down halfway. Squeeze the biceps against the rib cage. Belly pulling you up as you're lowering down. Inhale, exhale, push back up. 
We just got two more. Inhale, exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, exhale, push back up. One more time, inhale, exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, exhale, push back up. And let's flow, guys. Exhale, lower down halfway. Untuck your toes, pull your heart through. Upward facing dog. Exhale, stand the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. And breathe. Child's pose is also okay during this time. Yes, Tracy, I love you! Uh, <laughs> anyways, good work, guys. Whew, take a few deep breaths in downward facing dog. Nice deep full breaths. We'll take one together and then we'll do round two a little faster. But as I said, stay connected to your breath, your movement. Your breath guides you through each movement. Here we go. Let's connect with our breath. Exhale, let the breath go. Nice deep full inhale. And exhale, send it out. Here we go. Inhale, heels rise. Knees bend, a step, a float, or a hop forward. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up into that back bend. Taking a few little sips of breath to reach up with your heart forward with your hips if you want it. Exhale, dive all the way back down. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Here we go. Exhale to fold. Find your plank. And then three yogi push-ups to add on to this little sun stuff. Inhale and exhale to push away. Keep that core active. One more time. And then let's flow. Lower down. Open your heart. And send it back. Child's pose is available at any time. We have one last round. So again, make sure you're connected to your breath, your movement. Time to breathe and move and talk at the same time. Who knew? <laughs> All right, guys, one last round of Sun Salutation A to get us nice and warmed up for our power sequence. Another breath together. Let's do it. I can feel it through the screen. Exhale, let the breath go. Nice deep, full belly breath in. And exhale, send it out there. Let your neighbors question what you're doing up there. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Inhale, heels rise, knees bend. Forward fold with the breath out. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up and back. If you need a little bit of extra breaths here, take it, please. Find the depth of your back bend. Dive forward with your breath out. When you're ready, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to take those three yoga push-ups and then find your flow. Heart up with your breath in. Downward facing dog with the breath out. Option to grab a child's pose and a little drink of water here. Nice job, guys. Whew. How are we doing? Everybody good? Just give me a thumbs up or a heart. Really good job, guys. Again, stay connected to your breath. You can rest at any time. It's the beauty of this. It's all at your own pace, in your own space, but we're together. Together, same, same, but different, different. Together, together, but separate. All right, let's get into the sequence. Here we go, guys. Downward facing dog on your next exhale. Inhale to reach your right leg up and back. Go for length first, and then exhale, open up the hip, crank it out. Feel how it feels. It's Sunday morning, so maybe we had a nice late day. We were in bed a little extra longer. Maybe we were just popped on the couch watching the news or whatever's on on Sundays. Crank out the leg, deep breaths here, then inhale, kick those right toes high. Exhale to shift the shoulders over the wrist as the right knee taps the right elbow, belly active. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross the body, opposite. Still shifting the shoulders over the wrist, make contact with that elbow, inhale. Exhale, right to right. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, right to left. Again, make contact, pull the belly in, shift the shoulders. Inhale, one more time each knee, each elbow. <laughs> right to right, inhale, kick it back. Exhale, right to left. Option to kick it back and pedal it out or take it fancy. Only if you know how to do a little fall and start. Triangle with the foot, lift it or not. Tap the elbow, inhale, kick it all the way back. 
Exhale, low lunge. Make no sound as you place that foot down. Get grounded. Option to drop your back knee if you need to. Make sure your core is active, your torso is fired up. So we're not here resting on that front leg. Use your hands or you can grab your paper towel for a quick little support to find that active engagement in your core. One long line, crown the head all the way back out through the heel. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. And then make sure this left hip isn't trying to peel open towards me or towards the left side of the room. Activate your left inner thigh. Take a little deeper bend in that right knee. And then notice on your exhale, you're gonna drop your left knee to the floor. Nothing else moves except that back leg. Inhale for length. We're doing five times on this side. Exhale, lower that knee down. Inhale for length. Exhale, lower two more. Inhale. Exhale, lower, little pulses, you got it, inhale. Exhale, one last time. Inhale, and goodness gracious, exhale, open up, warrior two, thank God we made it, we're so strong. Ah, don't lose the bend in that front knee, guys. Make sure shoulders are stacked over hips. We have a nice bend in that front knee, rooting through the pinky toe edge of our front foot. Fingertips long and engaged, looking over the front middle finger. Relax the shoulders, belly active, tailbone tucked. Inhale to reach just the rib cage forward. Notice this length. Keep that there as you tip down to find side angle. So it's all core here. Use this hand, whether you're resting that right forearm on the top of the right thigh or inside the right thigh, or even use that paper towel block, help you out. Give yourself some support. Wherever you end up with this right hand, it needs to be maintaining that length between rib cage and hip bone. So use that hand. A little leverage here. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, stay. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, straighten your front leg. You can walk your back foot in if you need to. We're headed into triangle. Trikonasana, relax the shoulders. Same exact thing, keep this length. As you reach the rib cage forward, don't let this fold or break. You maintain that length as you tip the hands down to your toilet or a paper towel, to your shin, to your thigh, or a forearm to the inside of the calf, or grab your big toe, get fancy, whatever you wanna do. No matter what you do, core is fired up the whole time, belly super strong. Stay here and breathe. Trikonasana can give you a six pack if you do it right, yogi abs. So, <laughs> if you want a little more though, reach the left arm forward, reach the right arm forward. Keep that length, reach through the fingertips, reach through the side bodies, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, hinge from your hips as you reach right back towards the front. Inhale, reach up to the ceiling. Exhale, reach it forward, keep your core engaged three more times. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, reach and lengthen. Inhale up. Exhale, reach and lengthen. One last time, keep those obliques fired up. Keep that belly pulled in. Good, guys. On your exhale, bend your knee, reach your right fingertips out in front of your right foot, or to that toilet paper roll. Exhale, push off your back foot to find half moon. Oh, feels nice to fly after all of that uh, regimen. <laughs> Keep your left heel in line with your left hip. A nice deep full breath here. You got it, guys. Exhale, fold forward at the top of your mat. I will face you. Let it go, hang heavy, shake out the head and neck and shoulders. Nice work, guys. But well, we're not done. Inhale, lengthen halfway, exhale, fold. On your inhale, rise up and bring your left knee with you. Whew. Maintain that balance of that core you just strengthened. Relax the shoulders. A few little yogi single leg deadlifts are up next. From here, you're gonna inhale, keep your core engaged. As you kick your left heel back, your arms will fly back with you into warrior three or airplane arms. Drive through your right heel as you inhale to bring yourself all the way back up. We got five of these, so four more. Exhale, kick that left heel back, maintaining that stability with your core. Move slow. The slower you go, the more your core is in control. Inhale, exhale, kick that left heel back. Inhale, bring it back up. Where are we at? Three more. Let's do three more. Probably lost count. Just keeping your core active, airplane arms. You got it, guys. We have one more. 
After that last one, you'll kick it back into warrior three, belly active, drive through that right heel, bend into your right knee to land into a airplane lunge. So arms are still flying back, core is still active, we're not resting on that front thigh. Keep it active, keep that lunge engaged. Lovely work, guys. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Then we find a prayer twist. Left elbow outside of right thigh. Hands to heart center. Prayer twist. Inhale here. Exhale, look towards your right toes. Step the left foot in. We'll be in twisted chair. So still low on the knees. Still finding that twist. Pull the belly in. Press into the hands to find more length. Inhale. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, heart up. We're still in chair. Still keep the knees low. Inhale, exhale, release the arms by the biceps, by the ears. Still sitting low. Inhale, lengthen up. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. And exhale, right back into your squat. Here we are, some air squats. Inhale for length. Exhale to sit into it. We got 10 of these. This is three. Let's get seven more. Use your exhale to sit low and do that chair squat. Five more, guys. You got it. Sit low into the hips, low into the heels. You got it. Try to keep count. Three more. And one more. Inhale, bring it all the way up and back. Exhale, dive right back down. Inhale, halfway. Exhale to fold, float back, and find your flow. Downward facing dog for five full, deep rounds of breath. A little water if you need it. Good work, guys. Are we hanging in there? We just have the other side. And then we'll get a little air map. We may go closer to 40 minutes today. We'll see how we go through this other side. Um, but you can drop out at any time if you don't want to do the air wraps or the core work if you just need a little yoga today. But let's get that other side. Exhale to release the breath. Nice deep, fully breath in. And exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Inhale the left leg back. Exhale, open up the hips, crank it out. Move it around. Inhale, reach those left toes high. Exhale, left knee to left elbow, shoulder shift, belly active. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, left to right. Touch that elbow with that knee. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, left to left. Inhale for length. Exhale, left to right. One more time each side. Option to extend it into the fallen triangle, left to left. And left to right, one last time. Take that little hybrid fallen star, fallen triangle. Side plank, otherwise tap the left to the right. Inhale all the way back. Exhale to find low lunge. We keep it active. Core fired up. Right inner thigh engaged. Here we go. Inhale, rise up high lunge. Here's those pulses. Don't move anything else. Just exhale to dip that right knee to the floor. Inhale to lengthen the leg. Exhale, dip the right. Isolate that right knee. Inhale. Three more times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, one more little pulse. Dip the knee. Inhale, exhale. Open up for your two and land. We can breathe. Shoulders over the hips, a nice bend in that front knee. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Root through the pinky toe edge of that back foot. Keep the length. Inhale, reach the rib cage. Exhale, tip down, side angle. Again, any level here, whether you're on your thigh, using that paper towel roll, just make sure that length stays along the rib cage and hip bone on the left side. Inhale to pull yourself back up, warrior two. Exhale, straighten your front leg. Walk the feet in. Get ready for triangle on this side. Inhale, keep that length. Exhale, tip down, triangle. Again, use that left hand to find that leverage. Stay here and breathe, keeping your belly pulled in and active, or reach the right arm forward. Frame your face with the left. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, hinge from the hips and reach forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bring it up. We got two more. The slower you go, the more control in your core. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, reach forward. One more time. Inhale. Exhale for length. Here's that fancy transition. Bend your left knee, left fingertips to the block 
or the towel or out in front of you. As you exhale, push off. Right heel floats up in line with right hip half moon. Take a few deep breaths here and enjoy the float. Enjoy the free, the freedom. And then exhale, find forward fold at the top of your mat. Let it go. Ooh. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Bring your right knee with you this time, other leg. Here's those yogi single leg deadlifts. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, pull your belly in. Exhale, kick your right heel back as you fly your arms behind you. Airplane warrior three. Inhale, drive through your left heel as you bring it back up. Exhale, send it back. Hinging on that left leg. Inhale, brings it up. We have three more. Exhale, belly active. Inhale, bring it up. Ooh, got distracted. Exhale, send it back. One more time. And then you know where we go. We find that warrior three with airplane arms. Land in your lunge with your airplane arms. Belly active, arms reaching back, shoulder blades pulled together, triceps fired up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward, high lunge twist. Right elbow outside of left thigh. Hands to heart center. Press into your hands to pull your belly in and to find a deeper twist. Then look to your left toes, step it in to find a twisted chair. Press the hands, twist the belly, pull it in. Inhale, exhale to center chairs. Stay low. Inhale, exhale, reach the biceps by the ears. Then inhale, rise up. Bring your feet about hip distance apart. Relax the shoulders, inhale, exhale. We got 10 more yogi squats with each exhale. Sit back into your heels. That's three, four, five more guys. You've got it. One, two. Use your breath. Three, four, one more. There we are guys. Awesome job, rise all the way up. Look up and back, exhale, dive forward. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale to fold and find your flow. Meeting in downward facing dog or child's pose. All right, guys, we're gonna finish with a five minute AMRAP and just five minutes of core. If you have an extra 10 minutes to stick around, please do. I know it is 10.30 now. Um, we did start a little bit late. So uh, yeah, if you want a little more, stick around. Otherwise, won't be mad if you gotta head out. Just a little mad, just a little. All right, guys, Whew. now we need that backpack of books. So up first for our AMRAP. So an AMRAP, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's gonna be five minutes, as many rounds as possible. So as many times as you can, all five or six of these movements over and over again in five minutes until that five minutes is up. So just trying to do as much as you can. I'll go through the first one or two rounds with you, and then I'll try to just cue and encourage you guys on um, just to do your best. All right, so those movements, backpack with books. Make sure that's ready to go. It's nice and loaded up, pretty heavy. Again, if you have a duffel bag or a tote bag, you can always hold it up front, front squat style. Otherwise, backpack, you throw that right on your back, nice and easy. Best part is for this AMRAP, everything is six reps, straightforward. No matter what you're doing, six reps. So keep that in mind. I'll let you know when the five minutes starts, I'll count you in, but for now, I'm just demoing all the moves. We got six book squats. So taking it here, working through that full range of motion with that backpack loaded up. You'll take that six times. After that, you'll go into your frog hops. So a few options for frog hops. First option, simplest option, from a plank, you hop your feet forward nice and wide. You'll do this six times, hopping forward. My yogis, my upside downers, Miss Tracy, Mr. Jordan, you guys can do classic yogi frog hops, kicking your heels up, going upside down if you'd like, having fun with it, because why not? When you're inside, you gotta move and flip that thing upside down, change your perspective, it's Sunday, let's do it, guys. Okay. Six of those. Then we follow those frog hops with V-ups, bringing the torso to the legs six times. Try to keep the legs straight. If you need to, you can bend your knees right here six times. After those, we have a bear crawl. 
If you only have the space of your mat, just curl forward and back six times total. Otherwise, if you have a little more space, hands and knees just like we started, knees lifted, opposite hand, opposite foot, move at the same time. You take one, two, three, four, all the way five, six, and then you go back. One, two, three, four, five, six. So however much space you need, you can go forward three, 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 as long as it's six crawls forward, six crawls back. Opposite hand, opposite foot, moving at the same time. <laughs> Last, we finish with six speed skaters, each leg one, one, two, two, hopping from one foot to the other. All right, guys, let's get into it. Get that book bag ready. Six reps everything, five minutes, as many rounds as you can, and then we'll burn you out with a little bit of core. Stay with me, guys. Here we go. Five minutes starting in five, four, three, two, and one. Five minutes on the clock. Let's go, guys. Book squats are first. If you've already started, just keep up with your own pace. Everybody else will take you through that first round. We have six squats. That's three, four, five. Six, up next are frog hops. Any version we'll do today. Just have fun with it. Make sure you're getting a little crazy, a little weird, because that's always gonna make things a little bit easier. That's three, we got six of them, guys. Kick it up, it can just be as simple as hopping your feet forward. Do I have one more? I forget. <laughs> After those frog hops, we have V-ups. Keep the legs straight as you bring your torso to the legs. Six times. Last one. Bear curl is next, guys. Six times forward, six times back. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Keep those knees low. As long as you get six in, then we have speed skaters to finish. One leg and then the other. One, one, two, two. You got it, guys. Six, good guys, right into round two. Grab your book bag, try not to rest. Take a deep breath, get right back into round two. Book squats, frog hops, V-ups, bear crawl, speed skaters, you've got this side, let's go. You're only one minute and 30 seconds in. You can do it, let's do it. Woo. All right. Here we go guys, stay with it. Book squats, you can always do it without the book bag. You can just do air squats. As long as you get six of them in, get that frog hop, six frog hops, guys. Let's go, let's go. You're all killing it, you're here, you showed up. Doesn't matter what state you're in, you're doing it. You're making it happen, you're taking care of yourself. That's what this is all about, guys. Making your body move, especially when you're limited. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whew. All right, guys, push through. Try to get four rounds in, four rounds. Finishing up that second round. Take a deep breath, save your rest for after. You'll have plenty of time to rest for the rest of the day. So make these five minutes count. You are halfway. We have two minutes and 30 seconds left. Wherever you're at, get it in. Six reps, frog hops, V-ups, bear crawl, speed skaters, book bag squats. Let's go guys, six reps, six reps. So close, make these five minutes count. Let's do it. I'm already sweating. I don't know if you guys are. <laughs> I could just be all my passion, but I'm dripping sweat. I hope you guys are too. Kick it up a notch. Let's go. We have two minutes. Come on. Get that bear crawl. Six uh, total. Forward and back. Even if it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Twice. As long as you get it in. Get those speed skaters. One and then the other. You got it, guys. One, one, two, two. You only need the length of your mouth. You got it. Making the most with what we got. That's what it's all about, guys. I'm so fucking proud. I'm so proud of you. Woo! <laughs> Getting a little puppy here. All right, we got a minute and 30 seconds left, guys. We got it. Stay with it. Get those book spots. <sighs> we got six reps. Six reps of everything, guys, no matter what you do. Make it count. Make it count. You can always take a deep breath. 
If you wanted to pace yourself through the sand map, you can make two or three rounds happen. Just take your time. It's your pace, it's your time. Whatever you need to finish strong today. Get it in. Good guys, get that bear crawl. This is your last minute. Final push to the end. Don't quit, don't quit. We'll finish up with like two minutes of bounce, guys, so that way you can get right out of here. Last 40 seconds. Get those last reps in, guys. You're so close. If you finish that last round of speed skaters, you can use these last 30 seconds as a rest. You got it, guys. Look at this ponytail. We got all sorts of <laughs> crazy over here. I hope this is what you look like, too. Whee! 20 seconds, guys. Come on, one last rep. Just get in one last round of speed skaters, one last frog hop, one last squat. You can do it, you can do it. Make the most of this time. You're here for 10 seconds. Last eight, push through. Don't quit yet, don't quit yet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! High five through the screen. You guys are champions. Woo! Amazing work, guys. Okay, if you have the time, we'll take the next three minutes to do three last little ab movements. Maybe a few extra if you want to stay around. Uh, <laughs> feel free to do that any time, guys. But we'll finish with some core blasting. The good news is you're only doing these one time for 40 seconds, and that's it. You'll get 20 seconds in between to rest. So try to push through for that 40. Make the most of it. Do what you can. We'll start off with a hollow hold for 40 seconds. Grab that last drink of water. Hollow hold. Our low back is pressed into the mat. Our shoulders are up. Our biceps by the ears. Our legs are extended. Fight for your life to keep that belly pulled in and that low back connected. You don't want any space here. If the low back starts to arch, you can bend your knees, you can reach forward, anything to just keep you engaged for that 40 seconds. Are you ready, guys? Let's finish strong. Only one time and then you're done. Come on, let's do it. Here we go. 40 seconds, hollow hold. In three, two, one, hold it. You got it, guys. Whew. Belly pulled in, biceps by the ears, legs extended. You got it. Full engagement. Press that low back into the mat. Imprint those vertebrae into the floor. You got it, guys. If you want to pass the time, you can try little hollow rocks. Only if you can keep that line of the body while you rock. 20 seconds left. This is handstand drill 101. If you can rock this hollow for 40 seconds, you can hold your body like this upside down. 10 more seconds. So when in doubt, hollow it out. Five, four, push through. We get 20 seconds of rest. Three, two, and one. Awesome job, guys. 20 seconds to rest. Let's get some eagle wrap crunches. Right arm under left, either hold your shoulders or fully wrap your hands. Right leg crosses left just like this, or fully wrap. We go inhale, exhale to crunch all this way for 40 seconds in three, two, one. Right arm under, right leg over. Inhale, exhale, elbows to knees. Inhale, exhale. Breathe through it, guys. All wrapped this way. Right leg over, right arm under. Inhale, exhale, pull the elbows in towards the knees. You got it, guys. Use the breath to fight the burn. We are halfway. Last 10 seconds. Try to get five more eagle crunches in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Count it out. 20 seconds. We do the other side for the next 40, nice and straightforward. Left arm under, left leg over. This will be our last bit of core, guys, and then we'll be done for the day. Here we go. Get ready. Left arm under, left leg over. Five, four, let's make it count. Three, two, one. Use every second. Elbows to knees. Inhale, exhale. We got it. The best news is you can sit on the couch the rest of the day because it's Sunday. <laughs> you got it, guys. Stay with it 20 more seconds till the end. Try to push through. Get in as many reps as you can. You got it, guys. Elbows to knees. Exhale. Breathe. We got 10 more seconds. Whew. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Well done, guys. This was way too much fun. 
Thank you everyone for being here. Um, thank you for yourself mostly. I mean, I had a blast and it was awesome to know you guys are all here sweating with me. Hit stay in check, wow. Okay, if that doesn't look like you, maybe we do this again for another 30 minutes. That's the best part. You can rewatch these workouts at any time. Uh, stay tuned tonight, Elise is teaching again at 6 p.m. A perfect complement to this. Nice and chilled out. I know I could use that balance of my uh, physical work these days. Um, so I will be there tonight, 6 p.m., flowing it out with Elise, chilling it out. Otherwise, just stay tuned on all of our social media, Movement, Earth Checks, and Planet Granite. We have a full schedule of classes for you online, so definitely check out all the different pages. Tune in each day to see what's going on. And again, thank you guys for being here. This was awesome. So stoked for you. I miss you all. I hope you're having a great day. And enjoy the sunshine a little bit. Get some fresh air. Whew. Well done, guys. I just want to make sure I comment and tell everybody how much I love them. <laughs> Thank you guys. Awesome. Ah. Thank you. Thank you.